I imagine he's probably going to want something out of me. So, what's the deal with this gentleman? Okay. That sucks. That really actually sucks because um, that guy was doing well. I was getting decent skills. So this guy, his learning is horrible. Oh, this woman. Alright. What's her what's her deal? Why does she hate me? I don't I don't like it. I don't like it when people hate me. Who are gonna be tutoring me. It seems like a bad combination, but I'm doing it anyway. So need a new steward. I really need a new steward ding. My next best guy is six. To the point where I'm going to use this. Uh Let's do that. A couple people. And then let's see if any of them are better than that. I mean, it's statistically probably likely, so good. I got a decent guy. Now, let's build some stuff. We want, we want more troops. We want levy size up. That's what we want. So we have 100 or 150. I kind of like this because it gives me a whole fort level and yeah. Now, let's see what happens here. I'm 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 just I'm consistently amazed that this guy actually holds his entire territory because I need him to make smaller counts so I can annex them otherwise I can't really do much. It would be nice if he would press my claim on... I can't do that. Press the claim. So I can do that. And I'm mad... I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't... I'm not certain if... Um, if I would actually gain this territory. I guess what would happen is I'd gain it, but... You know, I can still me by liege. I just need... I think what I'll do is I'll wait until my guy's older. And we will... Decide what to do then. Need some more prestige. So this guy... Is pretty... He's got a pretty good situation. He's got, um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so he, he's got two emirates, in Portugal and he's got three emirates. So he's, his demence is enormous. His, his demence is nine things. How can he hold it without having, let's see if we have a disposition hit on him. Uh huh. Now this guy's his brother, so of course he hates him. He just craven and arbitrary. We really don't like our our dude. My territory though is getting pretty strong. I've just done a lot of building, really trying to make my guy my my area self-sufficient and this is sort of what you have to do like it's not it's at the beginning of this game you know if you if you start out small like this it it really depends on your situation a lot like you, you know like if you were to if i were to start out with france i'd be waging a lot more war they'd probably it'd probably be a lot more fun at the beginning but i find that you it can quickly spiral out of control and it's very very frustrating uh, and a lot of times, you know, it'll cause people to rage quit. Um, great. Perfect. Ambitious trait. I love it. It's one of the better traits you can get. So, you know, I like it. We're patient, ambitious, greedy, temperate. All these are good. 
except for being a legitimized bastard, but you know. Poor, my poor, uh, my poor first guy. I hope I get diligent. He wants to me to lower taxes for my city. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. In fact, I was thinking about raising them. But I can't do that because I am a regent. I need a regent. So what's going on right here? Granada is attacking Cordoba. So, they're going to be our enemies soon. I can already tell. I should use this guy for something other than what I'm doing. How about we for fabricate a claim on... Uh, I guess we'll do it on Algasaros. I don't know if that's... I probably just mispronounced that, but... I'm not that familiar with how to do it. Oh, wonderful. That is kind of weird. Why would he do that? He's not greedy. But my opinion of him well, fell down. I suspect he's corrupt. I don't think he is. Anyway. My, so my guy is almost ready to... For the real, real fun to begin. When you're a child, it's not that fun. Just like real life. Uh... How did why did that happen? Why did I get a new region? I'm not certain. Any any in any event, that's not a big deal. Let's look at our new vassal situation. So this guy's still our vassal. Still providing me dope cash. Actually, he's providing me a pretty good amount of cash for what what is basically just a religious holding. Okay. So what's going on here? Okay, we have a jihad against the Byzantine Empire. Now, we could join that, but the reality is it's across the entire Mediterranean. So, F that noise. We're not doing it. Uh... So we are fighting Lemnidia. What is that? War against Emir Al Masur. You know, this is this is my liege. No, I see. Okay, so we're just helping this dude, which means that he's taking my troops for no good reason. That's always my favorite. Um So I am this guy is, is making jack for me. It's, it's actually pretty funny. Okay. Well, I am now wroth. Great, because my dis my martial skill is terrible anyway. So I, the main traits I'd want to get rid of, uh, that I can get rid of, are shy and raw. Uh, hopefully the Hajj will help out, and that's the first thing I'm gonna do as soon as I um, turn 16. Is have my guy go on a Hajj. I'm gonna. I, f I consider it to be almost more important than getting married early on for this guy. Just because um, it's, it's super useful. And it doesn't take that long. 
So, it's possible that I will regret what I say, but... Alright, my birthday's coming up. Man, we, we really don't like this guy. Okay, I'm honest now. Oh, good, at least I now have some diplomacy rather than zero, but I have no intrigue at all, which is really bad. It means I need a reliable spy master that is that I, I I'm gonna have to have him be really good and really loyal. Otherwise, I'm in deep trouble. This emirate is starting to freak me out over here, and I kind of wish I was part of it, rather than... Because look at it, it's all... It's all... cut up into small counties. Whereas this one is very, very much... locked. Okay. Perfect. My regency has ended. I'm a mastermind theologian, which seems weird, but... Wow, I'm real smart, and I have a good stewardship skill. I look good, like a total goof, but you know what? It's okay. Let's... I want him to get married, and I want... I want to immediately. Let's do it. And then I'll have the pi piety I'll need. Wants... Oh great, he gave me a court musician title. On Hodge. And now this guy's my regent again. Hey, they are my brothers. I lost some health. But, they're my brothers. See, that, this is a really bad situation. I could die. But I didn't. I got saved. The thing is, when you when you when you're on your Hajj, you always want to take the the high road because this, for example, this old man, he, need, he needs you to give you one gold, but he always gives you something useful, like one diplomacy. Dang, that's like, it's a permanent increase in my stats. I am humbled. Get lots more piety, and I can either gain proud, or I can gain humble. Am I either? I'll gain humble no matter what. If I do this, I'll do that. And I gain more health. So I gain back the health I lost. Um, okay. Let's do that. Well, I'd rather risk becoming wounded than to gain Karaman. Okay. I'm back. And I got this trait, the Hajaj trait, gives you t p piety monthly and gives you plus one stewardship, which is just extremely good. Um, and everybody respects you more. So for example, this guy hates me because I just made a claim on his title, but he likes me because I'm a Hajaj. Now, I hate this guy. My I am probably like the most disloyal vassal, really. I mean, if I were this guy, I would imprison my character and, you know, try to have him killed um, no matter what, just because I know I could beat him in a rebellion and it's not worth it to have him... Like, it's not worth risking my guy's life, like... <laughs> this dislike, you know, turning into rebellion. I'm not going to rebel against him because I'm not a moron, but the AI would. Uh, so, it's, it's, it's worth thinking about. Okay, so this is a good situation, a good thing. Actually, let's look at rank here. So, Granada. How about 
this guy. If I can marry his daughter, that'd be pretty sweet. Perfect. Done. Now that means that if he were to attack, if my if my guy were to attack me, I could call this guy in and be like, hey bro, bro help me out. And he probably would because um, I'm going to do the same for this area. So he's got this 13 year old daughter. I will arrange her betrothal to myself. And so that way I can tie myself to several powerful regimes in the area. Uh, I'll do the same with this one as well. So let's look at this guy. He has his daughter that's 16. is just really lucky. What can I say? Alright. So I'm going to have three good alliances before long and those will all last me a while. Wonderful. Great. Now I've got allies and that means that this guy needs to know his place. 